They say the grass is always greener on the other side, and with cars, sometimes they seem a whole lot more interesting when they're an ocean away. That's right, if you remember in the last Car Trek series, Ed sort of won, and that meant that he got to pick the next challenge. And he may have been inspired by the fact that I won Car Trek with my Ferrari 456 that came in from Dubai, so he had us import our favorite cars. Exactly. Auto Tempest allows us to search all the major listing sites at once to easily find any car in the United States and find some interesting imported cars. That's right, you can use all their filters to narrow down exactly the kind of car that you want to buy. My name's Tyler Hoover. I'm Ed Bolian from Vinwiki. And I'm Freddy Tavares Hernandez. And this, and this is, is Car, car Trek. <laughs> 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 Save me, Tom Cruise! Naturally, the easy way to find our imports would have been to use our sponsor, Auto Tempest Advanced Search Filters, to find one of the many awesome vehicles already in the country. But it was important to Ed that Car Trek is always a sufficiently painful experience, so he said, nope, we had to import them ourselves. Over the past few weeks, our 25-year-old gray market hoopties made an epic journey over the high seas to eventually land at the busy port of Tampa, Florida, where hopefully they would be ready for whatever challenges Autotipist had in store. Parking brake works. So Ed challenged us to import our favorite car from overseas using the 25-year rule This is a 1987, I think, BMW 3, maybe 25. All the VINs are scratched off from it. It came from Lebanon. I bought it because there weren't many other options, but it is pretty cool, and there is a big surprise under the hood that should... It's a Titty Turismo here. So what you see is a 1993 Mazda RX-7, one of the most desirable Japanese cars ever made. And <laughs> Desirable? Yeah. One of the most unreliable Japanese cars ever made. Unre Do you know what you're driving? Dude. The BMW, yeah, known for its reliability. That was a little loose. <laughs> okay, so, um, this has a rotary engine, twin turbos, a five-speed manual transmission. The steering wheel is on this side, which I can see yours doesn't have. It's not. So, so you, ju you the, just bought a car that you can literally just buy here. Well, how are the apex seals in your angry Dorito here? Listen, okay, we, it's, it's the morning. We don't need to start with that kind of negativity. Somebody took it upon themselves, obviously a virgin, to, to do this. Listen, this is very tastefully done. It has some coilovers. It has some of the stuff has fallen off. This has like real parts. Like this has real good oh, parts. Oh, those in gauges it. are borderline pornographic. Listen, man, like it, it's fine. It's it's an art style. And speaking of special, Ed's about to run over a chicken. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why he wanted to do this. He had already bought that. That's yeah. why he wanted to do this challenge, and he thought, oh, I'll win immediately. Oh, he can't even get out. <laughs> what are you doing? Some yoga there. Yeah, a bit, a bit. But guys, the whole world is our oyster. We're supposed to show everybody the amazing cars that they can get now that they're 25 years old, and you both bring cars that they could have just found on Auto Tempest. Sorry, I'm distracted by the cleavage. What were you saying? Okay. Uh, Freddie, this is a family show. That okay. is wildly inappropriate. Oh, okay, okay. What is this? This? <laughs> what is, is happening? Yes! This is my 1996 TVR Cerbera. They just turned huh. 25 years old. Mine was born in October of 1996. It born. took a while to get here, uh -huh. but I think it's the only one in the United States legally. I don't think it was born to survive the abortion. These are the kind of things we dream about, but we're deprived of due to our focus on safety and things like that. These TVRs were pretty wild looking in their day. Yes. Uh, this one 
is especially something. Yes. You'll remember the show Pimp My Ride. Uh -huh. There was a UK version, and this car was modified by the West Coast Customs. Oh, God. Oh. Put, it, put it back, put it back, put it down. That, put, that's, uh, uh. that's a smell. Yeah. That is a smell. It's lovely. And so everything's been modified. So it's kind of hard to know exactly where the blame falls. So Ed, this is probably the first one of these in the United States. I believe so. Yeah, there's only about 20 of them that were built in 1996. And you chose to bring in the worst one. The yeah. most famous the one. one. In the early 2000s, this was the most popular car. How much? 17,000 pounds. So that was about 25 grand at the time. Plus. It's been a little while. I bought it in September. And Plus. it's taken until about two weeks ago for the car to get here. Uh -huh. And how much did that cost? Well, you know, normally we think of it being like four or five grand to ship a car by a boat. But due to everything that's unique about this time in our lives, it was $12,000. $12,000. So 17,000 pounds, which is what, like? It's 40 grand into this thing. <laughs> $40,000. Just $40,000 to own this oh. car. It's oh. famous. And what was that? Some cash for clunkers reject? So this is one of the most desirable and iconic Japanese cars ever made. It was, you, you stop, you stop, 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 no. Okay. Well, how much was it? This was $15,000, okay? <laughs> USD. Just look at it. I'm going to put this back. Okay. So, so $15,000 landed. Uh-huh. $40,000. Well spent. <laughs> this? How much? $14,000. No Gentlemen, way. Come here. Hey, you mean it's not like a $500 Lemons car? <laughs> no. No. This I've one, seen better cars at Lemons, actually. It came from Lebanon. Oh, where all good cars hail. Yeah. It is a Lebanese hot rod. They're known for their hot rod uh, abilities. I'm not entirely sure what this car started life as because the vents are scratched off everywhere, but what it is now is something. Okay. That's not a two and a half liter four banger. No, that is a four liter V8 from an E34 five series, I believe, with a six speed manual transmission. So lots of power in a little itty bitty car. You smell that? I do. It smells a lot of things and it doesn't look like it was uh, done with much more craftsmanship than my TVR over here. There's a, there's it's a floor functional. mat um, holding the battery from hold shorting on, out. Hold on, right. I got a text. Oh, welcome to Tampa, gentlemen. And for your cars, welcome to America. It's time to show them what the American enthusiasm for the automobile really looks like. That's, That's the enthusiasm, enthusiasm right, That's right. there. Yeah. They put us in a very loud place, but we're now headed to the Freedom Factory. Oh, the oh. perfect test oh. for our cars. Yes. yes. That's what mine was built for. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so let's go. All right. Okay. I forgot that it's on the other side. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yes! First try, first try. I couldn't believe that these two had taken such a half-hearted gap year approach to finding this overseas automotive treasure. We had the opportunity to buy anything at all, and all they did was buy slightly cheaper and much worse examples of cars that we've been able to enjoy here in the U.S. for decades already. Pay attention, children. This is what success at a challenge looks like. Woo! Gird your loins, boys and girls, because this is going to be a wild week. This is the most ridiculous automobile I have ever driven, certainly the craziest one that I have ever owned. It is a 1996 TBR Cerbera. Whee! <laughs> liter V8 that TVR called proprietary. In the Peter Wheeler era, they did some forced induction cars, they sourced some engines from Rover, but as they were concerned about supply chains, eventually they made their own engines. Certainly it is derived from a Rover style, but it does have a flat plane crank. It made 360 horsepower, 
when it was new. It doesn't make all of them right now, and quite honestly, it doesn't run very well. You'll hear it sputtering, and it, it doesn't maintain power, and it doesn't go all that fast. And when it backfires or misfires, it actually shakes the entire car so violently that it feels like you're driving over something. But in fact, I'm on a beautiful, well-paved Florida road. And it's, you know, it's, it's working. It doesn't sound great. It doesn't feel great. It wasn't built for a reasonably proportioned person. But sometimes it kind of has moments of brilliance where things just start to work. It's got a five-speed manual gearbox. Of course, it's right-hand drive being from the UK. And honestly, I am thoroughly enjoying the adventure. And as anybody who grew up playing video games, watching British motoring shows, and certainly watching Swordfish, we kind of fell in love with TVR. And it was one of these sort of forbidden fruit cars that we just weren't allowed to have, and it made them a lot more interesting. Now this is kind of like a British version of a Viper. It's got a big engine, it's fairly lightweight, it's not all that well built, they never sold all that many of them, and it wouldn't necessarily be considered a commercial success, but man, they are cool. Now this car was originally purple, and then when it was most famous, it was gold with this interior. Then somebody painted it this kind of chrome orange, and eventually it was wrapped back to gold. So that was removed rather recently. It's got this body kit that's obviously not fitting very well. But regardless, the car is here. We are driving it. It has windshield wipers that come on randomly. It has headlights that come on randomly. The turn signals are really, really interesting. There's a lever here for them, but the only way to turn them off is to turn. So if you use them to indicate a lane change, you can't turn them off. So it's designed for people to drive like BMW drivers, like I'd imagine Tyler's driving right now. Pretty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we love you and our Pretty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang loves us too, near, far, Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, our fine for Fender. Shake it. Come on, shake it off. There we go. Now earlier on that noisy road where definitely mobsters have thrown bodies in, I may have given the impression that I'm disappointed in this thing. I'm not. A little third gear scratch, but this thing is fast. Of course, the E30 chassis BMW 3 Series, which is what this is, is an iconic platform. It represents BMW before they got saddled with all the technology and all the crap that really ruined the cars. This is simple. This is the ultimate driving machine with a few tweaks, obviously. It's not slow. <laughs> Some mad scientist in Lebanon figured out how to get an E34 V8 in this thing with a six-speed manual and made basically a German hot rod. This is like a 32 Ford except when it comes to BMWs. Now is it perfect? No. Obviously that second and third scratch is an issue and it does have a pretty good shimmy at speed. Here it comes. Yeah, that's a shake. So a good portion of these European cars in Lebanon were stolen, which makes me wonder about this one because all the VINs where they should go are mostly gone. It's just the one on the firewall. And the engine probably not brought into the country legitimately, but it made it here in the United States. It passed all the checks for customs and got registered and all that stuff. So no problems there, fingers crossed. Let's see what this car can do. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm talking about. This car has a rotary engine, and not only a rotary, has a rotary with twin turbos. This engine is super duper small. It's about 1.3 liters, but since it's a rotary, it actually has double the amount of power strokes, meaning that all you have to do is get it on turbo, and it puts a smile on your face every single time. Now there are a few fit and finish issues, especially when it comes to this cosmetic overhaul that this car has had. Namely the fact that there are a lot of holes 
uh, like in the sides from various deletes from antennas not being there anymore. So those issues also extend to the inside because um, the, the interior is a little, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little not put together very well. Now, when you're trying to find a car for around this price range, you cannot do any better than this, mainly because you can't find these cars in left-hand drive configuration for this price anymore. You used to be able to buy one of these things for around 15 grand, something that needed a little bit of work, something that was a project, but now a decent roller for a left-hand drive Mazda RX-7 FD is gonna cost you 30 to $40,000. And this is your only way to get into the modern rotary game. And when I say modern, I mean mid 90s because they really didn't make them after this. They had the RX-8, but that was just a dumpster fire. So this is the last great rotary engine. I just want to hear it again. <laughs> now I'm not revving it to its red line. Its red line is somewhere close to 9,000 RPM. And this thing loves to rev. I mean, I'm cruising at around 4,000 RPM and this does not care. But the rotary also has a lot of foibles. Now I am one to say that I don't like the reliability of the rotary. There's a lot of drawbacks. Namely, every time I put gas in it, I have to put some two-stroke oil in it. I also noticed that the fuel economy is quite poor. The low-end torque, non-existent, and also the the sound, while interesting, I feel like a 2JZ or an RB could have been a lot, lot better. So this car, even with all of its issues, is still way better and way more sorted than Tyler's E30 and Ed's TVR. I have no idea how Ed's gonna actually make it through any of these challenges because this car, it might actually kill him. We were settling into our aged imported chariots. True, they were far from perfection, yet each was special in its own way. The time had come for us to find out which of our fleet-footed foreigners could fly fantastically around the fabulously famous Freedom Factory. Easy, easy, easy. Ed, you're uh, back to the future thrusters here. Or that, that, all the time. Yeah, that's the only imperfection I've been able to find so far in this amazing automobile. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, don't, careful there. That's, okay, that's... Wh whatever. So we are here in the Freedom Factory, which is the most American place, at least in Central Florida. And I am really excited. I've been here a few times before. You guys are new to this, right? Hell yeah, brother. I guess, right? Look at this. So Auto Tempest sent us here because they want our imports to feel truly, truly American. And uh, we're going to do some laps on this oval, like right now. But I think you need to warm your tires up. First. Oh, certainly. This is very NASCAR. This is very American. So I imagine we'll start with a qualifier, right? Yeah, I, I think we could do that. You should probably do your thing that, uh, you know. Oh, you're, the you're, driver start your engines. Yes, yeah, so that was, was iconic. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah that's you, a trademark. Uh, you went overboard on I that. I heard something. I mean, obviously, I've got the highest performing car here, 185 mile an hour top speed, 360 horsepower originally, a lot of downforce. Oh, originally, useful. originally, a long, long time ago. So why don't we do a standing start so you can show off that horsepower? Yeah, please. No, no, we should not do a standing start. Rather than they, normal they horsepower. I mean, no, 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 standing start. What? Yeah, let's it's, see that launch. It's a complicated, let's see the tire yeah. spin. Come on. A launch well, yeah, control, well, you please. you warm your tires up, I'll show you how it's done. Are these uh, on there? You, stop, 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 stop. These are very rare, stop, seriously. Tyler, you're gonna say the thing? Drivers, start your engine! Start, okay, good. Start, yes. Okay. 
Just give it a second. Give it a second. She's a little shy. She doesn't look shy. Not dressed like that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, drivers, grind your starters. You want me to push you? No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Drivers, buy a better car. Look at that. The Freedom Factory was the ultimate automotive playground. So in the star-spangled, apple-pied, fried, bald eagle, boys of summer, spirit of cholesterol Americana, we warmed up our tires and prepared for stardom. The TVR might be loud, but the engine's lack of participation was becoming painfully apparent. It also seemed to be rubbing off on the clutch because that wasn't working well either. But in this crowd, victory always remained a possibility. That is not an attractive car. And yeah, no. All right, Ed, we're going to need you to go ahead and do a massive launch uh, into your lap. Well, I don't have a tachometer, so I suppose I'll just go by feel as to how many revs is appropriate for that. Just go to noisy? Is that your plan? I think we idle at noisy. We're going to go to deafening and then dropper. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Six seconds wasted yeah. here, eight. Just nine, go, go, two. go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 15 seconds and one foot later. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There, there we, go. we go. Come on. There we go. It. Yay! <laughs> the clutch didn't like that, but we're off. Going really fast, really fast. Ooh. Oh, we're making some power. Not all the 360, but maybe more than 100. Oh, not there. Don't like that. Oh, then it's misfiring. <laughs> what a shock. He spent $40,000 on that turn. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. I smell fiberglass. I smell tires. I smell oil. I smell coolant. I smell a TVR to victory! Cross the line. I don't think I'm going very fast, I'll be honest with you. It's less dramatic than I thought. 47 seconds. Okay. That's a bar you can trip right over, Freddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have at it. That car is so offensive, even from up here. I'm sorry I offended you. Well, I appreciate that. Are you ready to do a big smoky burnout? I was born ready. All right, three, two. Once again, another car, a Japanese car with impractical horsepower. Uh, it's drift spec. Oh, that's some grip and also not very much grip. It's like it was designed by somebody who can't wait for their PC to be able to love them back. What? Yeah, a virgin. <laughs> this chassis is amazing. Oh, those brakes. Did he just downshift? Is he Into trying the to turn. drift? Oh, oh, oh. Make sure to go as deep as possible. How was that? 25 seconds. Oh, wow. So he only beat me by a second in right, real life. Right, uh, yeah. That was 25 seconds. That was, that was pathetic. I think I was a little spicy on the uh, launch. This is going to be so easy, yeah. yeah. This is good. Well, I, I believe in you. So easy. All right, good luck. Tyler, I noticed the M stripe on that car. Are any of the cars that car is made of M vehicles? 
No, sir, but it looks awesome, doesn't it? It, it really doesn't, though, but how do you feel about this lap? Oh, I am so ready. This thing's like the Millennium Falcon. Doesn't look like much, but she's got it where it counts. All right, well, three, two, one, disappoint. I feel like he bought it just because he knows how many times they said, will that fit in there? And they made it. <laughs> and the answer to most of those questions is no. Go, go, go! I think my key just fell out. Whoa! Did my key just come shooting out on the side? Yes, in the passenger floorboard, but it's still running. So those cars are known for understeer, right? Yeah, when you add another 100 pounds of engine to the front, that could only help. Yeah. Oh, we gotta slow down these turns though, but it grips, it grips, it grips. Yes, I have no idea how fast I'm going though. Speedometer doesn't work. Yes. Oh, got some speed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. edge you out by a quarter second. You know, I think that's. It's miles on a track like it, this. It is a, not. It's a it is huge not. It is margin not. of victory. Very good, very good, BMW. What'd you say that was? 2392, you beat Freddy by a quarter second. Yeah. Bet you he thought there was gonna be more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, that was a disappointment in my victory. All right, we need to go and see what he broke. Let's do that. Those are some new noises, Tyler. That's a new smell. That's the smell and the noise of victory, obviously. Oh. Obviously. It's so you were 24-24. Yeah. Which wasn't very good. That no. was 47, Seven, whatever, with a bad yeah, clutch and bad launch. Yes. I was holding back a little bit, if I'm honest. Sandbagging it? Yes. Oh, it's not a final form. For what? I didn't need to push the car to its limits to get pole position. I knew that. We're so on a racetrack. I got the pole. Oh. That's all I needed to do was get pole. Now we have the race to worry about. He this thing. Look at that. That actually looks a lot faster than we were going. Well, what? Than you were going, maybe. Well, but I, I was sandbagging too. That was the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's... Wow. Your engine probably had some sand thrown in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. One wheel. That's oh, a one, one wheel. wheel. That's one more wheel than you had. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's missing a headlight. Is it Jimmy Johnson? No. Whoa. No. <laughs> Nice Cletus. What's up, dude? Wow. That one? I hear there's a race going down. <laughs> That's the idea. Well, we just brought in these cars from overseas. This is their welcome to the United States, and I think oh, a yeah. race, 20 laps. The Freedom 420, dare I say? Four cars, 20 laps. All right, yeah, there you go. Freedom 420. <laughs> okay, well, let's do it. Line them up. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, is this thing fast? It's a bone stock crown bag. <laughs> so, yes. Very. <laughs> V8, brother. We got a V8. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Hey, it's remember Robin's racing, you know. <laughs> 20 laps. Parade lap to the first inaugural Freedom 420. So I'm not nervous at all, except for the fact that my heart is about to beat out of my chest. Let's warm up the tires. Then we're going to go for green here. Oh, man. Door to door with Cletus at the Freedom Factory. And here we go. Nighty night, Freddy. Oh, no, Tyler. You ain't. You are not getting away from me. Oh, <laughs> oh Cletus just. That Crown Vic is fast! Oh, it's not going fast, this car. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness, the tire smell already. Oh, it's so uh, smoky. Ah. All right, maintaining that pull position here. But we have a Crown Vic that is not going away. 
Come on. Ah, come on, catch him, catch him. I'm gonna catch him. Freddy can't go through a turn. Oh man. Oh. Come on, give me some speed. Oh no. Oh, it smells like fiberglass. Whee! 360 horsepower. Come back to me. Oh, it's Tyler's in the lead on Cletus. Oh, he's closing too. I still don't know the line here, but oh yeah, buggy, 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 let's go racing, boys! Oh boy, these drift tires are not used to this kind of grip. Tyler is holding his own, maintaining a comfortable lead. But now I'm getting some traffic here. It's Ed slowing me down. Oh, come on, come on. Ow, the smells. There's a lot of smells. A bit of clutch now as well. Come on. No, no, no. Get out of the way. Oh, goodness. Oh. I got the black flag. Oh, what am I black flag for? Where are the pits here? I guess I just go in here. The overwhelming smell from the TVR of coolant and oil and clutch and brakes and of course tires had drawn some concern from the corner workers and had caused them to invite me to stop participating in this event. Well, I don't know what I did. Oh, there goes Tyler. Cletus in pursuit. Jeez, he is right there. Oh. Oh, he's holding them off. Look at that. And Freddy doing absolutely nothing. All right, I gotta get more brakes. Gotta get on the power faster. Into the turn. Come on, RX-7, you can do this. Oh, I missed the gear. Nope, 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 we're gonna shut him down. You are not reeling me in. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ugh. Oh, they're messing up my line because I'm looking at my mirrors. At a cleanest. Jeez. Oh, there he goes. Crap, okay. We gotta get in this draft though. Roman's racing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Something happened. I'm broken. What just happened? We've broken. We very, very broken. That was fun. Oh boy. This is one hell of a track. And I think I'm getting a little bit hot. I'm gonna need to shut this down. I hit Cletus. Tyler, turn it off. Yeah, he straight up hit me. Nice bum graph. Dude, this thing rips. All right, we gotta we gotta disconnect the battery then here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's catching. Yeah. Nighty night. Such a functional car you brought to this thing, dude. You you broke your car. Good. <sighs> So I was trying to draft in NASCAR, but uh, Crown Vic bumpers and BMW bumpers don't exactly match up. So I think uh, I think I Ooh. caught a little high. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey. 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 I checked out my Crown Vic. It's totally fine. Oh, good. How's your car? Um, so this I'm not worried about. The fan, the, we can fix that. It's a little denty uh, over wow, here. Oh, The shifter has broken. 
It, how, how did you do that? It has whatever gear it's in, that seems to be what it's in forever. So something came apart back there. Okay. So you were running third most of the time, right? I was in third. That's all we have now? It may have been thirst. I think it let me put it in first and then oh, that'll work. noped out. First will work. Yeah. Good. Better than yeah. reverse. <laughs> <laughs> you ran into a road yeah. tank. That's it. Well, thank you, you sir. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank thanks for so coming much. to the Freedom Factory. Oh, that's been awesome. We'll Anytime. see you later. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Yeah, I'm not going to bring a rotary next time. This thing sucks. Well, that's really not his biggest problem. Help! Freddy. All right, fine. I'll help you, okay? You can rest Hold assured. On. I got a text. Uh, it's from Auto Tempest. There's only so fast your imported cars can go when they eventually have to turn. So tomorrow morning, you're to head to an airstrip. Oh, I, I know where this is going. Go. Yeah, I know and this is going. In addition to a top speed test, we've got some more challenges that we think you'll enjoy. Top speed in this? You, you have one gear. Freddie, please help me. You are the warranty. Wrench every day. Right here. Okay, 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 fine, fine. It's everything he dreams about. All right. <sighs> All right. Dude, what? What'd you do? You are literally giving us cancer right now with the stuff that's coming out of your exhaust. That's just mean spirited. Fancy a race? 99! No! Peace! Woo! <laughs> we got a text from the ticket clinic. Okay. We've set up some obstacles for you to navigate around. Get to the chopper! I never knocked on nobody! And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger! Ha <laughs> ha! There is a lot of heat coming out of your engine bay, Ed. It's just sweat. It's sweat of the horsepower. Tomorrow, we're headed to see whose car can go the fastest. But the fastest way to find your next car is using Autotempest.com. They compile the results from all the major listing sites in one place. That's right. Autotempest is also the reason why we do these crazy car adventures. Yes, Autotempest. All the cars, one search, which is linked below. It's down, down here. Come, come. Yes, come join me down below into this description box and click. Good. That's where it is. Good. Yes, you're clicking. You gotta go, gotta go lower. <laughs> lower, <laughs> lower! <laughs>